A lot of people are looking for one knot that can satisfy all the different fishing situations. Some people think it doesn't exist, but it does. It's called the uni knot, and it will satisfy about 95% of all the different fishing situations in the world. Uh, I know plenty of people that only use this knot, okay? So here's how to tie the uni knot onto a hook. We're gonna put it through the eye of the hook, leave yourself plenty. We're gonna double this back around so that you have a loop right here. Now, the easiest way to do it is to stretch this loop out just a little bit, and I'm gonna wind the tag end. One, two, three, four. We'll do it four in this deal, but a lot of times you'll do five or six with smaller line. Then I'm gonna hold the tag end, and I'm just gonna start pulling tight, okay? Not concerned about how big this loop is getting. I don't wanna fish with a loop that big, but it doesn't really matter, okay? because as I tighten that down loosely, this is still going to slide on the line. So I can start pulling this down to wherever I want the loop. Say I want to loop that big. Now I'm going to get my pliers or whatever. With just the tag end, I'm going to pull this knot tight right there. Okay, so now that is a uni straight to the hook. Okay. A lot of times this will slide down. You can tease it back up and make the loop bigger. The tighter you tighten this tag end, the more secure your loop is gonna be. Okay, so that's the uni to the hook. You can also use a uni, one of the strongest knots from, from leader to braid, from leader to monofilament, from monofilament to monofilament, any type of line connection a very, very strong connection here is what's called a double uni knot, okay? So a double uni knot is when you lay two lines parallel to one another. The pink line could be braid, it could be monofilament, it could be heavier monofilament, lighter monofilament, fluorocarbon, whatever. I'm gonna take one of the lines, let's start with a pink one, and I'm gonna roll it under just like I did on the last one and I'm gonna hold the two lines just like this. I'm gonna roll the pink line, the tag end, one, two, three, four times around, and I'm gonna hold just the tag end, and I'm gonna pull down with the tag end. Okay, exactly like I did with the hook. I'm gonna leave that fairly loose, and I'm gonna come over here to the white line, the other line, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make a loop like that, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four times around. And I'm going to pull on the tag end until this starts to pull down tight. I'll help it a little bit with this cord. Doesn't wanna perform quite like monofilament or fluorocarbon. So now I have two knots. I have one here and one here. And as I pull the standing lines, they're gonna come down and jam together to form an extremely strong knot. That's called the double uni. So double uni, we're going to simply trim off the tag ends and you have an extremely strong knot. That could be from your leader to your braid. This would be your leader and your hook to your braided line and then you could tie another one to your monofilament, or if you want to set up a, a fishing reel from start to finish with the uni knot, all we have to do is we're going to tie another uni knot right here with nothing in it. We're just going to roll this around, and leave an open loop. We're going to go one, two, three, four times, just like we did on the others. I'm gonna put my finger in the loop here, pull this tight, tease it down just a little bit, and I can make this cinch down on whatever. In this case, the, uh, the spool of the reel. So what that'll look like from start to finish, uni knot to the spool of the, of the reel, double uni knot from the, back, the monofilament backing to the braid or all monofilament, whatever you prefer. There's a double uni knot. So we would put all of that there. Another, another double uni knot, if necessary, from the braid to your fluorocarbon leader. 
And lastly, a uni knot to the hook. One knot, it's the only knot you need for 95% of all fishing situations in the world. Teach that knot to a kid and he will be ready to go fishing.